Hello Aquarius, it's Elle here. I'm here to do a quick money read for the Aquarius Collective. All right, so we've got uh, three cards here. Um, it's the past, present, and future. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective for a message about their money. Let the messages come from you, clear, concise, and accurate. All right, so let's see. So it looks like you both, you guys are in an energy of expectation. So you're expecting some money. Right? You're expecting something. You're waiting for something. You've been waiting for this for a very long time. I know a lot of readers have been saying that money, money, money is coming in for the Aquarius Collective. And it very well could be. We're going to claim it. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, it could have been a while. Because this card talks about at least a year, maybe even two years. You're waiting for your luck to really change. You're waiting for something big to unfold for you. You're in an energy of expectation because you have done the work. Hopefully, you have done the work. Um, you are deserving. And there's a need. There's an actual need. Okay? So, um, this money coming in. This luck coming up or showing up for you, better luck showing up for you, would definitely do you some good. It would uh, really uh, change your change the dynamic of everything that you've been in or that you have gone through because the Aquarius has had to sacrifice a lot. When this money comes in, it looks like you'll be really in a place of um, abundance, you know, overflow. Um it could even be overwhelming of how much money comes in for you, Aquarius. Um, some of you have done the work and you're waiting for a big payout. You're waiting for a payout in terms of legal, legal matters. Um, you could be going back and forth in terms of paperwork, loans. Let's see what's really going on here. Okay, so in the past we had communities. Some of you could have been relying on people in your community, your community are, are the people that you're closest to. It could be your family, your friends. Um, you could have been in need. You could have been in a place where you needed a helping hand. You needed to do this. You needed to stay with someone. You needed to, you know, drive someone else's car. You needed, you know, you were in need. Um, it looks like the Aquarius has come out of that because this is in the past, um, where they're on the brink of coming out of that. Um, yeah, you were just in a place where um, maybe there was uh, lots of help coming from lots of different people um, or you were in, in need in terms of um, you had to ask different people for different things. Um, you know, one thing or one person just couldn't fulfill you. You needed a lot of help maybe to get back on your feet or to get something started is what I'm hearing. Um, there were a lot of people in your community that were helping you, but at the same time as they were helping you, they were also talking about you or holding this over you, especially if you came from a place of abundance and then you went to a place of lack. So um, there were a lot of people in your community, uh, lots of chatter, lots of, um, yeah, lots of chatter, lots of conversations behind your back. It could have been amongst your siblings, neighbors, people who are close to you, um, people in your social circle. Um, lots of people who were really watching you and what you were doing, what you were creating, how you were doing it. So let's see presently with the, and this card kept wanting to, okay, so this card will flip this way, wanted to flip that way. Um, now this card is wanting to flip, but yeah, this was the only card that's like wanted to flip. So, wow. Okay. Distant horizons. So Aquarius in the present, you have the distant horizon. So this card talks about spirituality. It talks about, um, it talks about hopes, wishes, and dreams coming to fruition. It says if it's close to the significator of the reading, then it's definitely uh, coming soon. Some of you have your hopes, your wishes, your dreams to be independent or be more independent. You want something to come to a culmination. You have been doing something over and over again. And you just want to get to a place of maybe easy street or just rest for a while. Um, you have been working hard. You have been overworked. You have been, once again, overwhelmed. Um, you have a lot of dreams. You have a lot of uh, wishes that you hope to come to uh, manifestation, to fruition. It says that it wills. In the distant horizons, things will look uh, different for you. Things will be different for you. Um, definitely with you having put the work in, again, back to work. Um, let's see what the future looks like. Wow. Change. So it looks like 
you're going to be able to, this card talks about fast, quick movement. Something comes in for you and you can just move, just make all kinds of moves. And, um, this is three. Well, this is, uh, this, this goes to 10, which is one. This is three. This is nine and nine. So something is definitely coming to culmination for you coming to a place of, um, maybe where there is, where you can take a rest. There is easy street. There is, um, luxury because with the change also it's like you're you're moving from one space or one place in existence to another and this is a this is an upward ladder or a lateral move like it's upward um it's not like you're going backwards um this is something comes in for you and you you can just take off here um you can make a significant change in your life or there'll be a significant change change in your your money there will be an influx, an overwhelming uh, amount of money, abundance, a surplus here. You'll have more than enough. So you, your lifestyle may also change here, Aquarius, in terms of um, how you live. There might be even, you could like afford luxury, luxury items, if that's what you're into. Or maybe just quality. doesn't have to be luxury. Um, you're going to be in a place where... Um, yeah, there's uh, abundance because of all of the work that you you put in. What is this change in the near? Well, yeah, in the near future for the Aquarius. What's the change in the near future for the Aquarius? What's the change in the near future for the Aquarius? Okay, and we have the world. Very nice. So yeah, it looks like something comes full circle for you. You get to, you know, maybe write a new chapter in your book, or you get to throw that old book out and write a whole new book. It's like achievement, fulfillment. Um, this could even be you traveling or you going into different circles. Um, you sitting in different circles in terms of people and status. Um, it's something it, you also make your, um, tax bracket may change. Everything changes for you. Aquarius, you go into complete fulfillment with the world car. You have arrived is what I'm hearing. Aquarius, what is distant horizons in the present for the Aquarius? Presently, we have distant horizons. Will you please clarify distant horizons? Thank you. Dad. Okay. Wow. This one to come out. Empress. The three of pentacles. Wow. The nine of wands, the page of wands, the knight of pentacles and the page of cups. So Aquarius, it looks like, um, you're waiting for, uh, news, waiting for news, good news. You have two of the best pages in terms of good news, the page of wands and the page of cups. The page of cups is a happy surprise. And believe it or not, he talks about good news in terms of business matters. The page of wands is that conditional, um, uh, message that comes into you where you have to do something, you have to move, you have to make a move. Um, it also talks about good news or renewed sense of self. So it looks like you get all of these good news. You get this surprise news. Um, after you persevere with the nine of wands, hang in there, maybe day to day, um, right now, it could be tough in terms of your finances. You feel like giving up, but it says don't give up before the miracle actually happens because you are the empress. You have created something. You are abundant. You have dreams. You have wishes. They will come to a culmination, to fulfillment, to manifestation. The three of pentacles, you are doing high quality work. People are recognizing you in the spirit realm, in the physical um, God has blessed your hand, your work. Therefore, that's why it's so high quality because you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your gifts, your talents are being used for what they should be used for. With the three of pentacles, higher ups are looking at you, superiors and co-workers. The three of pentacles is the initial stages of creation, of success. So you're on the brink of Aquarius. This is magnificent. This is abundance is coming into you the knight of pentacles it says a guardian angel is is guarding you your work your work ethic your hard working um your tenacity uh it says stay hard working stay committed stay uh, devoted to because this is profit this is profit this is gain it may seem mundane over and over again but at the same time um, your commitment will be rewarded with the page of cups. Um, wow, you can't see any of these cards. 
um, it will be rewarded with the Page of Cups. Uh, this is um, a happy surprise. Happy surprise of uh, good news, okay? So you have Aquarius, you have the Empress, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Page of Wands, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles, and then you have the Page of Cups. Aquarius, right now in the present, the cards are just saying, hang in there, hang on. You are not going overlooked. Your work is not going overlooked. Uh, your wishes will come to fruition. You just stay focused. Stay focused on hard work. In the past, what was the community for the Aquarius? In the past, what was community for the Aquarius? Because it looks like in the near future, you're going to get that news, especially with this page of cups here in the present. In the future, you're going to get that news. And you're going to be able to move. You're going to be able to make some big moves. Yeah. Um, you were planning in the past with the Four of Swords, um, the Sun card. Um, you were very positive. You stayed positive. You stayed down. You stayed radiating light even in the midst of it being in need. Um, yeah, you were juggling with your finances. You were in between. Things were up in the air. Uh, you had to keep a straight face even in the midst of not having enough. You were having to do two, diff two different jobs or two different things to maintain your income to maintain yourself um in the past so this is this is looking good aquarius it's all by your hand too you don't have a lot of major here so this is really you um really you showing up and then the spirit world is re rewarding you in your hard work with the world card and the uh change card in the near future let's get some um more cards in here to kind of clarify what's going on let's see what's Excuse me, what spirit wants to tell you? We got the Empress at the bottom of this deck, too. Let's see what spirit wants to tell you moving forward. What is spirit? What is spirit's message for the Aquarius in terms of their money, and their career? You're in a place of expectation. Should you know you put in this work so you know that you're deserving? Um, hard work is rewarded work is re rewarded that's what we have we say over here work is rewarded here okay so do work if you're not doing no work don't expect the reward you're not doing anything get out there get busy in life make sure that what you put out actually helps not only you but somebody else um, the knave of swords uh, aquarius spirit wants you to learn take in all that you can take in gain knowledge about the things that you are on fire about things that you want to be involved in have the knowledge uh, be thirsty for knowledge be seeking knowledge ask questions be inquisitive um don't get lazy um, don't get complacent. Don't get bored with the seven of wands. Persevere. Take that um, that very um, minority approach to something. Maybe everybody else is on the other side. They don't see your vision. They don't support it. They don't see where it's going. And you might be by yourself in it. But you got to keep going with the seven of wands to protect yourself. Be proactive in your finances to um, save. Uh, make a budget. Because the seven of wands talks about being proactive. Also protect your identity with the seven of wands here. It could be someone trying to steal your work, your identity, uh, your pertinent information. Protect yourself. Put up the defenses. Um, be proactive in terms of getting your credit together. If you're in the States, um, getting, uh, yeah, getting things in order here with the seven of wands. Um... What else? What else am I getting from that? I think that's what I'm getting from that. All right. So what else do we want to tell the Aquarius collective? We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want you to get ready, Aquarius, because look, they want you to gain knowledge about what you want to be in, what you want to do. Ask questions, learn, pick up a book, read, look at YouTube videos, whatever it is you do. Get your house in order in terms of the seven of wands because people will be coming at you or people are coming at you. Get your defenses in order. Um, protect yourself, protect your money, protect your bank accounts, protect your, your very important in, uh, information, um, protect your work, copyright, uh, 
do the paperwork for whatever it is you need, the Knight of Wands, because there's going to be some fast, swift movement. There's going to be opportunity. It says it's going to be opportunity here, but you're going to have to move on it rather quickly. You, you can't toil with the Knight of Wands type of energy. You got to get in there, get it done, and then move on and see um, the spoils or, or the profits from that um, with the Knight of Wands here. So it's like something's going to move real quick for you with the, these two wands cards. What else do you want to tell the Aquarius in terms of their finances, their career? What do you want to tell Aquarius in terms of their finances, their career? What do you want to tell the Aquarius? What do you want to tell the Aquarius in terms of finances and career? Okay. Wow. The King of Pentacles. Because you're going to be sitting pretty real nice. It's going to be lonely at the top, okay? Um, some of these people around you do not deserve to be with you, deserve to be there. Um, some of you, you're going to need to go get expertise or expert advice about with the Hermit card, especially when this money rolls in. The, the King of Pentacles says that you're going to have to be methodical, mathematical, logical, rational, calculate you be very calculating money will come to you in your sleep you're going to make money in your sleep you there's a book i forget the book but you know when you made it you know that you're doing the right thing um especially in terms of entrepreneurship when you can make money in your sleep okay and look and the king of pentacles makes money in his sleep money works for him he doesn't work for money keep in mind the kings are the not the doers of the tarot the queens are the kings have already mastered the suit master what they're in um the king of pentacles you're going to be sitting in that energy whether you're feminine or masculine um, you also could be enterprising. You could be having a large enterprise. You could be over, over people in terms of uh, manager, managerial, if you're not in, in business for yourself. Um, so you're going to need to um, maybe protect yourself, put protective measures in order in terms of how people deal with you. Make sure people put things in writing with the seven of wands, knight of wands here. Something's going to go really quickly for you. You're going to go into this type of energy really quickly. Do your homework in terms of how to deal with people, processes, systems, because the King of Pentacles deals with systems, also systematic. You're going to have to be more of that. You're going to have to have some systems in place in terms of if you run business or if you if you manage other people. This looks really good. Um, that's some really good advice, uh, Aquarius. Let's see what else the cards want to tell you. Let's see what we can close with in terms of uh, money, career, and finance, Aquarius. I just heard all by your hand. So for some of you, you just got really serious about where you wanted to be, maybe in career, in your finances, um, and you just did the work. And Spirit just kept blessing you with opportunity, strength, uh, perseverance and now they're about to open up the floodgates for you but you know it's like you choose a path and then spirit gets behind you it's not the other way around and a lot of people get it twisted like they're waiting for spirit to come and tap them on the shoulder and give them the blueprint for their life and then spirit then takes them by the hand walks them down uh to the unemployment office where they can fill out applications or down to the business license office where they can fill out a business license no it doesn't happen like that you do that and spirit starts to open doors for you it's the other way around i don't know who i'm preaching to but if you want to get serious about your life prosperity not just for you but for your family for other people because um money without a purpose is materialism so make sure you have a purpose for your money but if you want to get serious about that, then you need to actually have a plan. You come to spirit with plan. Spirit didn't come to you with one. Like, okay, well, this is what I think you should be good at. You know, so you apply for this job. It doesn't work like that. You are the co-creator in your life, okay? People want to give up agency in their life so that they can then, when they fuck up, they can blame spirit. No, don't work like that. Keep on thinking it does. I'll see you here in five, six, seven years. You'll still be trying to get your finances in order. Um, I don't hold back in terms of, you know, um, 
entrepreneurship and work and finance and career because I have done a lot in my life in terms of that. Um, so, you know, you got to do the work, guys. Do the work. Finances is something that you can control. That's the one thing you can control. This love stuff and trying to control another person. Good luck with that. But you can control your finances, your resources, um, and your career. All right. So let's see. All right. This one to pop out for the Aquarius. You're in need of new and real friends. That came out in another reading for you. Okay. Um, so that just said that too. I said, everybody's not going to be able to go with you, Aquarius. All right. So, um, the cards want you to know everybody's not going to be able to go on this journey with you. Everybody doesn't deserve to go on the journey with you. Like I said, in, in that community card, some people just weren't cheering for you. They were, ha whew, it popped out guys, a whole lot of money. This is what I'm talking about. Money, money. That's what y'all need to have on repeat. Every time you got to drive to that job, just turn on Cardi B money. I know everybody doesn't agree with the lyrics and so forth, but if you're trying to get to a place of um, n no struggle, it's not a day-to-day -day struggle because you do have the nine of wands, then, you know, put yourself in that energy, all right? What else do we have for the Aquarius? I keep seeing jealous of you. I'm, ch I'm trying to pass it up, but somebody is very jealous of you, Aquarius. Um... Some of you are going to get a whole lot of money um, because, uh, once again, I just keep hearing by your hand, this is what you wanted, you know. Um, and I think for a lot of you, it's not more so of a materialistic thing. It's more so of a longevity thing, legacy thing, an empire thing, a family thing. It's not more. I keep seeing book smart. Some of you need to um, get in some books, learn, you, you know, too much too much is given, much is required. So make sure, yeah, okay, I must just take it. Jealous of you. So they, the cards want you to know they're going to be jealous of you, baby. You're going to have so much money. You're going to have so much uh, prestige. You are blessed by the divine. Uh, and, and it's all been by your hand, okay? Um, I don't even want to take that. It's, it, don't take that. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this. If not, we'll close this down. This looks so good, Aquarius. Okay. And they want to leave you with that. Somebody can't get over you. And that's what we have, Aquarius. Um, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of inspiration and clarity. Um, if it did, go over to the website. Book your own reading. If you want to know about your own money, your career situation, Take advantage of the 10-minute, $25 readings at the website level. Those are pre-recorded readings, video-recorded readings. Um, you also could ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, and if you took something from the reading, you can always give back. Let the exchange happen. Click the Buy L a Coffee link and you could buy me a coffee. Um, and do keep in mind that I'm here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, asking, answering your questions, and doing a collective reading for everyone. All right, so thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.